Here's how to solve this ridiculous question inside of your head. 5 to the 35th power minus 5 to the 33rd power divided by 5 to the 32nd power minus 5 to the 30th power. Now these numbers right here are ridiculous, so we're going to have to factor it out to make it easier. So 5 to the 35th power minus 5 to the 33rd power, we can factor out 5 to the 33rd. On the inside, we have 5 to the 2nd minus 1, because 5 to the 33rd times 5 to the 2nd is just going to be 5 to the 33rd plus 2, or 5 to the 35, and negative 1 times 5 to the 33rd will give us negative 5 to the 33rd power. And on the bottom, we apply the same thing. We factor out the greatest common factor, which will be 5 to the 30th power. And on the inside, we have 5 to the 2nd minus 1 using the same reasoning as above. And because we have the common factors of 5 squared minus 1 on both the top and bottom, we can actually just cancel them out, get rid of it. And now we're left with 5 to the 33rd divided by 5 to the 30th. And whenever we have something in the form of x to the a divided by x to the b, where they're exponents, we can just rewrite this as x to the a minus b. So we keep the base and we subtract the exponents. Our exponents are 33 and 30. So what's that? 33 minus 30 is going to be equal to 3. On the bottom, we have 5. So we're left with 5 to the third power, which is just 125. And that's going to be our answer. And if you need help with math, then just go over here.